It's one of the most pivotal and least known events in the history of civil rights and the black church. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the student lockout at Colgate Rochester Crozer Divinity School in Rochester. This protest brought lasting change to schools and seminaries across the country. The Colgate Rochester Crozer Divinity School has trained Christian clergy for 200 years. But at the height of the civil rights era, this landmark seminary was forever changed. On March 2nd, 1969, 19 students entered the main academic building and locked and changed the doors in protest. We have no other recourse but to man the barricades. The building will not be given up until the demands are met in full. The lockout was led by the Black Student Caucus. For more than a year leading up to the protest, they'd asked for more black faculty, administrators, and board members. When nothing happened, they took action. You hear about this group of young men who uh, stood up to the school, and right away you're kind of just excited to say, oh, how, what, what was that? What happened? Student Demond Wilson learned about the lockout not soon after he started at Colgate. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. on April 4, 1968, served as a catalyst for the black seminarians. He was so inspired by the students who came before him, he made this documentary about the lockout. It includes first-hand accounts, newspaper clippings, and TV reports from that era. Most of the school's classes are held in Strong Hall, where the black students are holed up at the present time, and they are not talking to any reporters. Tom Ryan, Channel 8 News. They knew that once the wind got out that they had locked down the, uh, the school, it was going to be uh, some big uh, trouble <laughs> waiting for them if this didn't go right. The lockout lasted 19 days. We're here today in full support. With the, the blessing of black ministers in Rochester and many white students on campus. By the time it was over, the school had committed to a black church studies program, the first of its kind in the country, and now a staple in seminaries across the U.S. Because of the situation, we have a whole new branch of learning and academia that has been opened up. It was just amazing to me. All of the students who staged the lockout went on to become leaders in social justice, civil rights, and the black church. Ten are still alive and practice ministry to this day. The Colgate students who staged the lockout were motivated by their own desire to lead their communities and the black church was central to their mission. They also revered Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who visited the school in Rochester in 1962 and whose parents helped raise money for the scholarship program at Colgate in their son's name. King was a graduate of Crozier Theological Seminary in Chester, Pennsylvania, which later merged with Colgate Rochester. That's it for News 8.